Hey, welcome back to Apog Gaming. I'm Fallen Frog. It's time for another tip of the week. This week I want to talk about something I actually missed a few weeks ago when I did the video about missing Joy-Con controllers and how you can locate those. There was a new update for the Nintendo Switch that allows you to find missing Joy-Con controllers. As it turns out, there was a whole other feature of that update that allows you to invert colors on your Nintendo Switch that I didn't even know you could do. You can also enable a grayscale mode so everything is in black and white. And I'm going to show you guys those today and show you how to get those set up and running because it's kind of cool, it's kind of neat, and it's something that might you might be able to use it for some of your videos depending on you know what kind of artistic choices you want to make. So first things first, this is the default colors for arms. Uh, I'm playing this right now just to kind of show you guys so you can see what the basic color scheme is just as the game is running normally. We're going to play with the colors though and change these and invert them. And oh my god, what happened here? <laughs> this is inverted colors. Definitely makes everything look a little little weirder. It might be worth it for some of the effects depending on uh, you know particular videos you might be doing. But like I said, there's also a grayscale mode, which you can see here. I think you can make some really good artistic choices using uh, you know using this filter depending on the types of videos you're making. It's up to you to come up with the ideas. I'm just uh, showing you guys some some neat little things, but I didn't know that these features were part of the last update when I did that video about missing Joy-Con controllers. So I wanted to show you guys this because it's a uh, it's pretty neat and it's also really easy to set up. And as you've been able to see throughout this video, you can change that on the fly while you're in the middle of a game. It does not matter. It's not going to reset your game or anything like that. I'll show you how to do that right now. Just hit your home button to go to your main menu to find missing Joy-Con controllers. We went into the controllers option. Here we're going to go into system settings though. You know, you're going to scroll all the way down to system. Fun little bonus tip, you can also rename your switch. Uh, as you can see here, I've named mine Switcher Nixon, but I'm getting sidetracked. Let's scroll down uh, all the way to change display colors. And here we've got default as the selected option, of course. But you can go through here and change this to inverted colors, which you can see has changed everything drastically. That Mario Kart 8 screenshot. <laughs> Uh, wow. But as you can see, it's really simple. Uh, it's really easy to get there. Going to grayscale, you can also see what the system looks like with a grayscale filter on. Now there's no color whatsoever. It's kind of sad, really. Nintendo is such a vibrant company. There's so much color in, in their games, and I mean, it's just like they craft these bright and shiny worlds. So there you go. That's going to work for any of your games, whether you're playing Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, Minecraft, ARMS, whatever it is. You've got three different options for color schemes. You can use the default scheme, which uh, you see here, uh, and then of course the inverted or grayscale. Since I've been playing ARMS and since we're talking about changing colors, I've got one more bonus tip for you guys that you may not have known about if you are playing ARMS as well. So as you're scrolling through and choosing your character, of course you use the left thumbstick to move through and select a character. Uh, instead of actually just picking your character right off the bat, click in that left thumbstick and then move it up or down or you know move it in any direction after you've clicked it in. Taking Ninjari here we're gonna click it in and I'm gonna hold down while I'm clicked in and you'll notice that once you select your character with the other Joy-Con using A button or you know hitting the shoulders we'll actually change the colors. I think it would have worked better if you hit like the X button and it brought up a list of colors but it's a fun little thing that your friends might not know about so you can change the colors on them and surprise them. But if you guys are playing it and you didn't know about changing colors of costumes, there you go. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully you guys learned something new there today as well. But as always, if you guys have any other questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave those down below. If you've got a name for your Switch that is better than Switcher Nixon, let me know that as well. You can also send those or any other questions to me directly over on my Facebook page or my Twitter or just do a generic search for Fallen Frog. You'll be able to find me. But as always, thanks for watching today and we will see you guys next week.